Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today I want to show you how to install the new Betaflow 3.2 on a MacBook Pro or a Mac, iMac computer or any computer from Apple. So as you know, the new uh, Betaflow you cannot install it. It's not part of Google anymore. So you have to install it separately. So I've been asked a lot that when people do that, they have an issue with the USB driver on a Mac. So it won't talk to their quad or their flight controller. So in this video, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that step by step. So without further ado, let's jump into it. So the first thing you want to do, you open up your browser and uh, search for uh, beta flight. Uh, beta flight configurator all right so once you do that um, you'll see there's a le uh, the link below here not this one you don't want to go to the Google old configurator you want to go to the new release it's in github so you click on that now when you get on this link you can see there's uh, the latest release here it's only 14 days ago and you can go down, there's, there's the older one here, if you want to use the older one. But since this is new new release, I uh, stick with this one. Um, so as you can see, you have one for, for Windows, uh, Linux, and also one for Mac. So go ahead and, and click on it, and you download it uh, to, your, to your drive. I already downloaded it here. So as you can see here put a one here so I go ahead and download it again just to show you so now it's on here so when it's in your drive um, you can go ahead and do the, the typical install of a Mac so by by double click on this it's gonna unzip this uh, DMG file and you will have another window open up with uh, okay with the uh, with the package so if, you, if I I just want to go and show you. So here, there's a there's a packaging file here. You basically double click that. That's take you to the install process. So you just go ahead and and it go through the install, the typical uh, Mac install. I already installed it, so I'm not gonna do it again. But I just want to show you that. Once you install that, okay, that's this is where the important step comes to play. Once you install that, you should have uh, under your application okay you go and look for beta flight configurator okay once you open up the configurator this is what you need to do the first thing that you want to do with your configurator is that you have to install the CP210X driver this the driver that mapping your old um, UART1 into the virtual COM port that beta flight you know uh, 3.2 3 uh, uh, configurator here use okay so so if, you, if I click on this okay it takes me to this side okay if you, if you come down here you see all the windows driver here already so what you're looking for is the Macintosh so here is the driver that you want to download. Okay, I can click it again. I, I want to show you. So I already downloaded here. Okay, then you just double click on it and it go to the install process for you. Okay, so this process is pretty much painless. All you have to do is just click on it and uh, Mac OS will take care of it by installing it and everything's like that. Okay, once you did all that, then now if you open up your um, your beta flight, you basically go down here, you see there's, there's no port, right? So all these are just Bluetooth uh, incoming port, that, that's what you have. So let me go ahead and connecting my quad to it. And then you'll see that it will automatically detect that. All right, so as soon as I connect my quad to it, you actually see this is changed, okay? So now, 
if you look at the port there's more port popping up okay so what you want is the TTY it should select this for you automatically but if it doesn't you just come here make sure it, it's a TTY uh, slap USB okay and now I can click connect here we go I got my quad connected to my Mac no problem there so you can go ahead and just go through the whole setup and everything's like that okay so you see everything just just work correctly from this point on so i hope this helped if you like it give it a thumbs up and see you soon